Hello guys, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. Uh, let's talk about runtime behavior of published component. We have understood uh, the different parameter configuration uh, for published component. Uh, let's talk about uh, how, you know, at uh, execution time, uh, different uh, parameters uh, evaluates and uh, depending upon the different parameter configuration of published component, how the execution happens in at the end of uh, published component right? so published component is a is a kind of an end of end component of a particular uh, set of processing uh, in a continuous flow graph so it's a, like an output uh, data set component output file component or maybe output you know table component kind of component is uh, there in batch graph right the respective component over here in published component so the job of published component is to publish the queue or a set of files or a file, uh, you know, and then commit and instruct the computing system that uh, the job for a particular checkpoint or compute point has been finished and let the subscriber do the next unit of works, you know, initiation of the next unit of work. So that happens uh, in a published component. So uh, well, first of all, uh, what is happening is uh, it will look for the package parameter, right? You know, so depending upon the package parameter, let's say, so initialize and how initialize happens actually. So depending upon the, you know, package, uh, in package, so we, we are giving the chance, given the chance of, you know, or uh, defining or transform. So there is a get file name function. So get file name function would return the file name, right? So if, if you know the components would be calling that uh, you know file name and uh, get file name function, and it's going to determine you know in what is the initial or file name where we are. We have to write the output data, right? Okay, and then it would uh, you know uh, read the record from the input port and uh, start processing the records. So get the file name, okay, and receive the file name and then start outputting the files to the disk. So whenever it starts the, you know, data writing to the disk, so what is going to happen is, uh, you know, so again, uh, you know, depending upon the publish style parameter, right? So it's going to writing either to the disk or the queue. I mean, uh, it's going to write to the files or a you know, particular queue. So then if the reformat function is defined in the transform parameter, then what is going to happen is uh, the input record would be transformed according to the reformat component and then it is going to be written to the output files or a queue. Or if the output type, there is a, you know, whenever we talk about package, then there, will, there is an output type parameter is uh, type of, um, you know, definition is also there. So if we define the output type, then the you know, uh, input type, you know, input data type would be uh, uh, type class to the output type, uh, output type, and then only, you know, it's going to be written. And so depending upon uh, what is available, if it is output type is defined and is different from the input type, then the type class happens. And if reformat is defined, then the data travels from the reformat and then output type is assigned and, you know, written. So, so if, we, if none of these are defined, then implicit reformat happens. Everything happens like that. If a reformat is not defined, then implicit reformat happens and output is going to be generated as, uh, as per the output type, okay? So this is the whole actually uh, for a respective record, right? Okay, and optionally, if, uh, if we specify the output port uh, connection, then uh, the output uh, is, Know, depending upon the record type is going to return to the disk as well. If, if and only we are you know, specifying. So the first step is uh, going to get the file name and start you know, reading the records, read the records basically and writing according to the publish style. Okay, publish. Publish style and then the reformat also come into picture and then output type, okay, come into picture. Basically, the package parameter comes into picture, right? So this is the second step and third step is optional output if we have, you know, specified. And then uh, we have fourth optional output. 
sorry output okay so the fourth is um, you know so now what happens is uh, we were talking about check point and compute points so depending upon uh, if we receive if you know on this one it has let's say it's uh, has you know finished the processing of a particular unit of work published component and received the check point so depending upon the value of the published style what is going to happen is uh, it's going to determine the next file name you know to write to the sub subsequent update or next generation of the right so depending on the published style the published styles are different so if we specify q then what is going to happen is it's going to commit the current data generation in the ibnsu queue because in the ibnsu queue we are the data output happens as generation right so if we are specifying published style as q then next generation is going to happen in and it is going to commit the first gen generation and all the you know the downstream graphs or downstream processing or any other application can start consuming that uh, you know that set of records okay and uh, if you are specifying a uh, published style is appended then the get file name function will be called and uh, if it will uh, get the new file name and data would be committed for a particular file and it is available for available for consuming the downstream processing and the next file name is going to be uh, you know start writing the next set, next file okay if we are specifying files after then also you know get file name function is going to be called a new file new file name will be received you know same functionality if we are specifying log then the respective log file would be generated and depending upon the max log file size and you know get file size you know max uh, log file size and uh, there is another parameter which is you know set file size so the number of files available so, you know if we are specifying none then you know record would be discarded it's be heavy as a fast component the thing is going to happen okay so you know this is going to happen so if we are receiving the check point rather than you know compute point then the published component uh, you know informing to the you know cooperative system that you know check point has been committed you know so if if it is not a compute point right so compute point is also so when we will talk about compute point and check point difference then we are going to understand more over here but here what is happening is uh, let's understand the compute point and check point in such a way that check point is uh, for recovery but compute within between two check points there could be multiple uh, compute points uh, compute points are introduced for uh, you know for uh, for you know support the pipeline parallelism basically so you know small units of work between uh, you know the two check points which is called a compute point so let's say we have to uh, we have uh, you know 10 records between two check points and uh, we can specify that for each and every record there will be a compute points so the 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 flow of records would you know will be there so the the published components also will commit the work and it's uh, you know it will be the records would be available for consumption by the downstream processing at every compute point as well okay so in the case of the check point uh, you know if you receive the check point what is going to happen is a subscribe published component has to uh, will indicate to the cooperating system that uh, the check point n has been uh, you know committed or uh, processed and uh, let the subscriber do the uh, reading of the next set of records right so depending upon the published style parameter the published uh, you know components is going to you know write the subsequent records right if it is a queue you know then next available you know data you know would be written to the queue and appended or a file software or a log or a get file name functions and rotating if it is there none is there then you know does nothing so similarly whatever we have discussed for a particular uh, you know unit of work same unit of work would be repeated for a next you know check point okay for a compute point so this is all uh, about uh, you know uh, one two three okay for next 
unit of work unit of work so unit of work is a uh, so let's say we have specified a checkpoint point between uh, 10 10 records and within 10 10 record every record uh, generates one compute point so after reading one record there will be another you know first record then compute point second record then compute point third record and after 10 record compute point as well as uh, checkpoint so okay so the you know recovery process will be happening on set of 10 10 records but the the flow of record would be maintained as level of compute point okay this is the uh, you know benefit of compute point okay we will talk about uh, the difference between two checkpoint and compute point and the benefits of one after of another okay so thank you so much uh,